think. You guys might remember my friend Corwin from our homebrewing beer episode. I will long here myself in my health to test a little of the beer. To your health. Well, he's gone a little bit crazy and he's decided to hike the Appalachian Trail alone. Considering he hasn't died yet, I decided to send him some snacks to keep him alive. This week on Working Class Foodies, Corwin started hiking the trail in the south about a month and a half ago, and he called me a few weeks ago from Tennessee requesting food. Sounded pretty hungry and a little malnourished, so I thought I'd better hurry up about it. I needed something that would pack up easily, that was non-perishable, and that would be easy for him to eat on the move while also giving him a whole lot of nutrition and energy. The answer was obvious. Peanut butter oat bars. I loaded Corwin's bars with What's oats, peanut butter, dried fruit, and honey to give him lots of energy and a little bit of fat to keep him going. And I made my own peanut butter for the granola bars using the same recipe from our Super Bowl snacks episode. I preheated the oven to 300 degrees. Then in a saucepan, I combined three tablespoons of vegetable oil, half a cup of my peanut butter, half a cup of local honey, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of water. I mixed this together over low heat until everything was melted together. Then I let it cool and I whisked in one egg white. Meanwhile, in a separate bowl, I combined half a cup of oats with half a cup of dried fruit. I used local dried blueberries, cherries, and raisins. And I added some cut up dried bananas to give corn a little extra potassium and energy for the long trek. I mixed my oats and my dried fruit together. I stirred my oats, dried fruit, and peanut butter together, and then poured the mixture into a lightly buttered pan. I popped my peanut butter oat bars in a 300 degree oven for 30 minutes. Once they were all cool, I cut them into bars, packed them up, and sent them off to the post office in Tennessee. A few days ago, Corwin sent me an email saying that he was still alive, although, however, he'd happened to have a little bit of an unfortunate accident with a pair of socks and an open fire. This recipe made 24 bars for Corwin, and the total cost came to about $8. If you're going hiking or camping this summer and you're making your own snacks, let us know what the recipes are. We'd love to share them on our blog and maybe make some for Corwin so he stays alive a little bit longer. Hopefully, he'll make it back in one piece in September. We'll keep you posted. See you next week on Working Class Foodies.